Hello everyone, before we begin, I do want to show that uh, there is a way to reset the clock. It's the same way as in um, gold and silver generally, so you're going to hold down, select, and B. That was down, select, and A, hold on. Down, select, B, hold on. Down, select, B. Reset the clock, yes. Select continue to reset the time. Time not set, there you go. Time, no one knows. Clock's time may be wrong. Please reset the time. Um, as of recording, it is... Thur... Saturday. Four. Hold on. Four. Then you just have to kind of scroll down. Four eleven. And that's how you reset it. It's super easy. Um, and with that, we are into episode 11 of Pokemon Coral Version. In the last episode, we were kind of wandering, um, not as meandering as the episode before, but we went uh, to Route 6, 7, crossed Lake Onwa after a little technical issue, and then fought our rival Pelucin unexpectedly, somehow clutched it, Sakura's the best party member ever, you could ever ask for. Um, I was giving it some thought, and I think um, I'm going to continue over here today on this side. Um, I just think it'll go better that way. Of course, um, wait, oh yeah, I did already heal up, um, but I haven't actually talked to these guys yet, so I figure it might be a good time to do that. I got part way up the mountain, but my Pokemon was too tired to continue. I had to come back down here and rest. Yeah, they're really setting up Mount Onwa to be a uh, tribulation. This Pokemon Center is still fairly new. There were so many trainers whose Pokemon were getting injured in Mount Onwa that they had to build one. Little lore. Um. All right. Check this out. I love this quiet little town. Can it even be considered a town? We don't even have a gym or Pokemon. We already talked to him. Um, we have the name raider. I think I like all of the nicknames we have now, but still a good feature to have. Um, it's good to know that that's here. Aren't these flowers just beautiful? I take care of them every day. It's hard work for someone as old as I am, but it's worth every minute. Here, why don't you take this? And we got a miracle seed. Putting that in the item pocket. If you give that seed to a Pokemon, the power of its grass type moves will grow as beautifully as my flowers. And I believe that's 1.2 times effective. Um, what do you have to say? I make jewelry to pass the time. My favorite is Mystic Water. It powers up a Pokemon's water type moves. Let your Pokemon hold this. So it seems we're going to be getting the Miracle Seed, Mystic Water, and Charcoal here. Um, very cool. Putting the Mystic Water away. My husband and I recently moved here from the city to take care of his mother. I try not to show it, but it's been tough on me. Making jewelry is the only way I can pass the time. Poor girl, I mean you have a TV. Not showing anything. I grow trees out back and turn the wood into charcoal. If you have your Pokemon heart, hold charcoal. The power of its fire type moves will be boosted. And we receive the charcoal. How beautiful. I make charcoal. My wife makes jewelry, and my mom grows flowers. We all stay busy. How agrarian. Alright. Uh, let me check here. And I did notice, um, because I've since edited it, that uh, the Sunstone can be used to evolve Whimsicott, I mean, evolve Cotton into Whimsicott at any time. I'm still gonna hold off for a little bit. Um, there's a move I'm holding out for. But when that happens... We will have a monster of a Pokemon at our disposal. Um, I'm gonna... Ooh, I already... I do like the Quick Claw on him, but... Yeah, I think a Cherry Berry for um, Miracle Seed is a very good trade. I'm gonna give this one to Wildred, who's also holding a Cherry Berry. Dana's holding the Lucky Egg, and I think I'm gonna keep that on her. Um, so that's, that's where we are for now. Alright. Um... Is that everything on this side of the lake? I think so. I think, I genuinely do think so. Let's see here. Let's, yeah, let's check it out. There's no way it's that dangerous, right? Q. 
cute, and Aaron. Yeah, level 14. I actually think, yeah, we could probably explore this now. Um... Aaron is such- and, like, Agron is such a cool Pokémon. Um, I remember using Agron in my first playthrough of Pokémon Ruby. And he carried me through the Elite Four. It was crazy. Because, uh, I I don't love, um, I don't love the Torchic line, but that, that was the first line I picked. Um, I've since come into the light on both the Trico and Mudkip lines. Dana's level 14. We're not gonna level up, but... Do I have any repels? I have one repel. Um... Okay. I... I have no need for either of these folks. Let's just... let's just run. Beautiful. Alright. Okay, uh, let's go to the other side of the lake. Huh? Right to the other side of the lake? Sure. I guess that's the least I can do since I can't take you to the island. It's on the house, kid. How about it? Alright, we'll head out soon. There's a lot of things we missed. Um, just kind of beelining it over here without even realizing it. Thanks for writing. Come again. So let's go back and explore on this side. Unless you have a Pokemon that can travel across the water, you'll have to take a boat. Sudowoodo. Yep, and that side is blocked, but... Route 7. Okay. Cute! It's a fan pee. I don't have space for such a Pokemon on my team right now, but... I'll just, I'll just run. Not that I have any Pokemon I'm especially looking out for, because this is my first time playing through it. So young, yeah, but so strong. Keep that spirit after we beat him. Um, there we go. Yeah, these are kind of the battles I was thinking. I don't know if we actually battled this lady. My fool of a husband lost our tickets. Now they won't let us on the boat. A lady must keep composure. But a trainer can freely vent their frustrations! I love that. Good thought. Lady Ruth. Ruth's meow. Level 15. Yeah, I figure this is a good area to get some XP, because... It's not that, like, we're especially underleveled, um, but it would be- it would be effective. Oh, that sucks. see here. Hmm. Meowth is pretty devastating, uh, if you're not prepared. Like, I feel like... I'm, tr I'm struggling to remember what game, um... Might have been Sun and Moon, actually. Um, because I think it was an Alolan Meowth, but oh my god. I've gotten wrecked. I should have used I should have used the new miracle seed. Um Mega Drain. Oh <gasps> never mind, I got a crit. And he just growls me instead of actually attacking. So we're safe. Perfect. Baneri! If I knew Baneri was in this game! Oh my god! Wish I had a Baneri. Actually, a Baneri might be around. That wouldn't, that wouldn't surprise me. Baneri gets set up on... Let's let Wildred clean it up. I trust, I trust Wildred to do this. I honestly don't, but... This should be boosted to be like 72 power with the extra same type attack bonus plus mystic water.
fully paralyzed. Okay. I don't think a quick attack is gonna be able to do it. I don't know what I, I don't know what I want to do. Back to Dana. Actually, probably. It's probably gonna go for Endure this turn. No. That's a powerful tackle. Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> it has a max potion? That's inf- that's- oh my god. Whatever. Whatever. Um... Spam quick attack, or go to sludge. This is why Sakura gets all of the XP because he just inexplicably has the highest damage move we have right now. I might have to switch back into Wildred to get a quick attack off though. Oh yeah, goner. There's that Razor Leaf we got last battle, I think. I think we got Razor Leaf, I don't remember. I don't remember. But R Ruth was finally defeated. How uncouth. With 30,000 Poké Dollars. 3,000 even. Can you believe they won't let me on the boat to the island? Me? God, I've had so many older ladies like that where it's like... Um, I work at a place where... I worked at a place where we needed to check ID for everyone coming in. And there were a lot of people who would just forget their IDs. And even, you know, even if they're old enough, they still would need an ID. People would be fuming. People would be so mad that I wouldn't let them through. It was so funny. It was so sad. Huh? Oh, wow. You actually want to battle me? <laughs> well, that's a first. <laughs> Poor guy. The Polka fan, Ron. Cute. Good Polka fan. Knowing what the good Pokemon are probably gonna see my Eevee and just giddy out. Alright. I think John. But yeah, now now I luckily don't work at a place that needs to check IDs that much, so it doesn't, um... Stuff like that doesn't really come up. Why'd I switch into bedtime? Why am I throwing? Oh my goodness. I think, yeah, I meant to switch into Puff J to heal off of Fan P. Alright. Could have. I don't think I need to go for Grove. I think it'll just two hit. Yeah. No difference. Ugh. I thought that Flail was gonna do way more. It did like nothing. We're so close to XP. We're so close to level 18. Give me the move. Give me the move. Give me the move. Puff J wants to learn Razor Leaf. Ugh, that does do more damage. Um, special, physical. I think Codney has better special by physical by like at least 20 points. I think. I'm gonna regret doing that. Hopefully there's a move tutor somewhere. Or a um, move reminder. I forget what they're called. Now's a good time to switch into bedtime. Now's a good bedtime to switch. Whoa. That was a cool effect for Bubble Beam. Wasn't like... The noise is kind of gruesome, but goodbye Wingle. We appreciated you when you were here, but now that you're gone... Ah, it's good to see you gone. <laughs> Alright. Ron was defeated. Haha, <laughs> wait. What? Hey, you're pretty good. Have any tips? Wow, he's looking to us for tips. Um, let me just heal up real quick. And we are back. Um, I think it's time to take on these guys. Yes. Yes. 
My boyfriend and I came here to be alone, but then those two creeps showed up. This whole- <laughs> this route has so much lore. Oh my god. Beth wants to battle. She has a knit arena. Cute. Oh my god. I think Nidoran, male and female, are kind of maybe too simple of designs. I think it works in like the whole, um, in like all of Pokemon. I think like having those kind of simple designs is super okay. But I don't know. I think the way they develop is like, I don't know. I, I love Gen 1 designs. Gen 1 designs are some of my favorites in maybe the whole series. Um,. I don't know if that's... Yeah, no, that's true. I could, I can honestly stand by that. I'm not like a Gen 1 or anything, but I do think... Um, back when I think there was like a less developed language of like what Pokemon looks like or whatever, there were some really interesting ideas thrown at the wall. Um, and I do think they still try to make it interesting, but... When, when you're working with, like, pixels instead of 3D models, like, I think once they, like, really got the switch to 3D in, um, I'd say around, like, Sword and Shield, and now in Scarlet and Violet, there are some designs where it's, like, I couldn't really imagine them- Oh, I'm- I'm- <laughs> goodbye, Wiltred. Wait, no. We're fine. We're so fine. Um. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, I guess. Um, but yeah, like, there are some designs that I just, I couldn't see really working in 2D in a way that makes me kind of, like, like, I, I get it. Pokemon just kind of naturally evolves, as do all franchises um, that get that big, but some of these designs, I think, like, really um, ride the line between being simple, cool, like, animalistic, and everything in a good way. Anyway, Nidorina's down. Wildred and Bedtime. Get more. But still don't evolve. Vincent! They beat me! Oh, Vincent's gonna have to step up. Defend his lady's honor. Um. Come on. I. I have to have poison somewhere. Well. Can they shrug off poison in this? No, they cannot. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter if Wildred faints. Oh no, Wildred recovered. That is a thing. Okay, so when they reach 1 HP, it takes- hello. Oh, bedtime is still poisoned. That's what that was. Got it. Why do I talk to him to heal? I did that, <laughs> I did that when I was off camera too. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, and going back to him. Vincent. Those two old people just showed up out of nowhere. They're really killing the mood. It's so funny. Camper Vincent wants to battle, and he has a Nidorino. It's so cute how their Pokemon are Nidorina and Nidorino. Just love it. Pokemon Coral. Pokemon. I mean, the whole games, like every game is just amazing. I don't know. That's not true. That is not true. I'm just I'm just saying words before I even even know what I'm saying. I'm just that I don't know. I'm just that energized. Just that here. Just that present. Yeah. I guess I guess that thing can peck. I'm just thinking like peck is a flying type move, and that thing is like I feel like it would bite way more than it would peck, but. It has kind of like a, um, kind of like a rounded forward nose, so I could see it. Down goes Nidorino. She did that all by herself. She's almost level 20. They grow up too fast. Vincent it was defeated. Arg! Can you tell those two to go away? They're totally ruining my mojo. Just leave. You've done enough. Hey, you're pretty good. How many chips? These these people don't even know they're ruining it for them. That's so funny. Okay. We talked to you. Yes, you reached Lake Onwa to the north. So let's check out east, west, west. I said west. <laughs> um, I thought I saw a potion. Yeah, I have two just regular potions. Let's just use one of those. What do you have to say, gentlemen? 
My wife threw a fit when she found out I lost our tickets to the island. Hmm. Gentleman Durwood. Durwood. That guy is such a Durwood. Intimidate. Sad. But not unexpected. Just love the chip damage on that. Um, I think Wildred can... Wildred's gonna get bitten into, like, a Tesla. Oh. Goodbye. Out comes Puff J. <laughs> Just absolutely aggressive stun spore. I don't think this Growlithe can one-shot Puff J. It's gonna have Ember. It has Flame Burst? What, what even is that move? Oh! Oh! Uh, 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 uh. My bad. My bad. Odor Sleuth in me. It's like Foresight. That was so scary. Oh, Flame Burst is gonna do like 10 damage. I've been, I've been closer. I've been further. Not a terrible guess. Down goes Growlithe. Alrighty. Cool, level 18. I have- I don't remember when Bleasel evolves at all. My controller isn't working again. It's so annoying, because I know- I, like, I think I know that I'm not doing anything wrong. It's just, like, it just happens. I have no idea how to fix it. I have no idea how to do anything. Swablu. Ugh, oh, I would love to have a Swablu. Look at how cute that sprite is. Like, I just love, I love when Pokemon games had sprites. I've been playing through Pokemon um, Black 2 on challenge mode recently, and it's just such a beautiful game. I have um, a DSi XL, so it, like, it's so big and crisp and beautiful. Um, I'm not, I'm not usually a snob about, like, visual quality and stuff like that, as much as I try to make what I make have good visuals, but, um, the DSi XL just looks so much better than a 3DS XL, pixel-wise, for DS games. Anyways, Derwood was defeated. Not bad. I actually found the tickets. They were in my trousers instead of my jacket. It's too late to tell her now. I'll just be in even more trouble. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go heal up. Well, actually, I I have, I have the stuff in my bag. When I used the soda pop, it said better save the bottle cap, and we have kept the bottle cap. Um, I don't know if that'll be used for anything later, but I thought it would be good to mention. Imagine if after you used the lemonade, it was like you saved the tab. This thing is worthless, and you just had to throw it out. Oh, okay, so this does end. I thought this would be like a full route, but it's it's just that. Um. It's interesting how the trees have kind of the, like, ground, like, they have the brown and the white around them, so it looks like the dirt kind of goes up into them. Um, some other, like, I, I only noticed it because right here, but some other sprites, it looks kind of, like, very obvious when it's the, its palette is different than the palette of the stuff around it, but that one I think blends in really well. Um, yeah. Have you been to Sunbeam Island? Anyone who's anyone has been there. You're calling me a nobody? What a bitch. Sarah. Ugh. Gross. Throwing her to the back. Dud human being. Alright. Um. Whoa. What? How'd that do that much? Is Wingle that frail? Oh my god! There's nothing the Wingle can do! The Wingle, yeah! Okay, I'm confused, but I'm gonna- oh my god. This is how the Wingle wins. The Wingle is taking its stand this moment. There you go. Some XP. And sends out a Meowth. Alright. Hmm. I don't think I get to fake out again, right? That's not how it works. Oh. Don't know, anyway. <sighs> I don't have a fighting type. 
I think Wildred and Puff J are gonna be my best bets for dealing with him. Maybe go for Charm first? Oh, this happens every time! These Meowth all know the same moves. They're so annoying. Um, Stun Spore, Growth, Mega Drain. Stun Spore. Thank you, Prankster. I don't think Meowth is particularly bulky, but still, I'm nervous. Very nervous. Uh, I've been caffeinating, like, every day for work for the past, like, couple, I would say, for, like, the past few days. And now that I'm going a day without just chugging an energy drink, I'm, like... I don't know, I'm not trying to be lower energy, but I just, I have less to say. Um, I used growth twice. I hope you can forgive me. Oh, I didn't need to. I could have just used it once. I'm getting fury swiped. Two times. Why is it always when I'm good, it hits two times? And when I'm in a dangerous situation, it's like, alright, five times for fury swipe. We do also get the crit, so that growth was especially not needed. But, that is okay. And Sarah finally has a Pikachu. I feel bad, because we have a full team- not full, but we have a team of five. Just trucking through the game, and these guys are like, um, hello? Um, I don't remember if Electric is resisted by Grass, but I'm just gonna use Fairy Wind anyway. I, <laughs> my type chart has gotten kind of rusty now that the newer games just kind of tell you what moves are- what, uh, what moves are good and what moves are bad. It's like, I, I, I don't, I think I like that the new games do it, it's just a quality of life feature, but, you know, I also like that the older games don't tell you. Anyway, Sarah's defeated. What? But how? Fine, I'll admit it, I haven't ever been to Sunbeam Island. She's a nobody too! Inside, she's ugly. Ugly like me. Um, I should be fine. And it's a Wingle. Goodbye, Wingle. Alright. Got TM08 Charm. Uh, Eevee already has that. Can Cotney learn that? Let's see. Yes. And that would be a pretty good move, actually, to teach. But, um... We'll see. We'll see what happens. Obviously, I think we'll still be able to teach it to, um... Puff J if they evolve if he evolves um but let me just go back and double check to make sure i got everything in the previous routes but otherwise um i think it might be a good place to end um just because there's not a ton else go oh my bad there's not a ton going on all right so i checked and we did pretty much everything we could in um up to this point so i'm just gonna go ahead and move on up and meet you over at Mount Owa. Onwa, even. Mount Onwa. Alright, and with that, we are back to this side of the lake. Let's move on over one more time. Huh? A ride to the other side of the lake? Sure, I guess that's the least I can do. Okay. Okay, let's see what I wonder what we're gonna need to do to uh, unlock Sunbeam Island. We might need, um, honestly, to go through Mount Onwa at this point, but we still did level up a, a good bit. I feel like um, this diver not a diversion, but this diversion, this episode was actually really good for just getting leveled up, getting... Hold on. Now that we're here, I can say that and have it be like a final moment. Um, in this episode, we went back to routes 6 and 7 and kind of just cleaned up the encounters that we hadn't gotten to yet. Got some new items on this side of Mount Onwa and uh, on this side of Lake Onwa and are ready to head into the mountain proper. See you guys then. I need to get better at talking. My talking has been so bad recently. I don't know.